Hey guys, Wet Movie One back here again for another movie collection video for you guys today. Right now, or actually earlier today, I was sitting around watching TV, watching movies and things, and just kind of looking at my collection, you know, as a whole, just like, you know, surrounding me all over the place and things, and I, I was starting to get a little bit overwhelmed, you know, by how much shit I have in my collection, and I'm kind of going, looking at it, looking at it all going, do I need all of this shit, you know what I mean? So like, I, I, I recently, like or a couple hours ago, I just started going through like each little shelf that I have and like, you know, pulling stuff out going, I ain't never gonna watch this again. Like right now, I have like stacks of movies on like random shelves going, you know, like I'm never gonna watch this stuff again or I have this certain things on, you know, on Blu-ray that why am I keeping the DVDs for? You know what I mean? Like I've been pulling out different little things. Like say I'm going through this shelf right here going, huh. What what right here am I ever ever gonna not watch again? You know what I mean? Like that's 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 the kind of thing. Like am I ever gonna watch you know, uh, Moonrise Kingdom again? Like I'm sure I will. But like I'm just saying. Like there's like certain movies that I'm I'm going through here like this. You know what I mean? Like I don't think I'm ever probably ever gonna watch that again. Like do I need to keep this? Probably not. So like I'll stick this. You know like on top of one of the stacks here, and then like you know continue on. You know going like you know what am what am I what am I gonna, I'm never gonna watch again? You know, kind of thing. Like, I, I I saw this movie before, Mutant Girl Squad. Thought it was badass, but I only watched it once. Am I ever going to pop it in again? You know what I mean? Like, it's one of those things, like, I'm going through that little, kind of like a moment in life right now where I'm going, I have too much shit. I'm kind of like, you know, kind of like looking at it, stressing out and things. Because, like, I, I have, like, things, like, over, over stuff. Like, I, I don't, I don't even ha have room to put certain things now. You know what I mean? Like, it's just kind of like all over the place and things are even stacked up over here and I don't even know, you know, what I'm doing. Like, dude, these stacks right here are like stacks of stuff I'm going to keep, but I just don't know where to put right now. You know, to be honest, like, I love, I love the movie Dope and of course, you know, Jackie Chan's Rumble in the Bronx and things like that. But like, over here, like in my horror, my horror movie section, like, I, I kind of ran out of room, you know, to put things. Like, I have all these other, like, you know, the A's, the B's, you know, you know, all together and things like that. But then, like, it, it comes down to, like, the S's and T's and all this kind of stuff. And I don't even know where to put, some, you know, a lot of this kind of things. And I'm just kind of like, oh, God, what am I going to do? Like, it, it goes deep back there. You know what I mean? There's, like, stacks of, you know, more, you know, more movies way back here behind these ones. And I'm like, what am I going to do? Like, I, I know I'm going to keep a lot of this stuff, like spider Baby and things but like I'm trying to go through you know some some of these movies here and going do I really need to keep you know all of this shit like right here do I really need to have you know all these night of the living deads like the night of the living dead like 30th anniversary or 30th 30th anniversary edition uh that came out that George George A. Romero doesn't even like it you know, doesn't even approve of, to be honest, with like, with like different added scenes in it. And then do I need to keep this, this version of it, the Millennium, you know, kind of, uh, Millennium DVD that came out years and years ago. I know I like this edition of it, the original restored edition of George A. Romero's classic. But then I also have this one right here, the original, uh, movie on Blu-ray. And now I have, of course, the 1990 version um, on DVD, which, you know, uh, it was named Tom Savini made, and I even have the Twilight Time Blu-ray, you know, that came out from Tom, you know, that came out with Tom Savini, like, do I need to keep, like, every single edition of, like, uh, of this movie on Blu-ray, like, what am I, what am I doing here, you know what I mean, do I, could I, could I possibly get rid of one of them, or, like, does some of them have special features that other ones don't? Like, like, I'm really, I'm going through this right now going, what, what, why do I need so many editions of certain things? You know what I mean? Like, right here, I have, like, the Halloween Mac Daddy box set, which is signed by John Carpenter right there. I also have this other, you know, Halloween box set that came out. But the sad thing is, I still have a lot of these other Halloween editions on DVD down here. I believe some of them haven't been released, you know, like certain editions of them, like the TV cut version is not on Blu-ray, and some of these have special features and autographs that I have on them, and what am I doing with like multiple copies of things, you know what I mean? Like I'm going through this going, what? the hell, what the hell could I get rid of just to like, you know, loosen up some space and figure out what the hell I'm gonna do, you know what I mean, like I even have more shit, you know, downstairs, alright guys, I'm finally downstairs right now where there's even more movies, you know, in this house over here, as you can tell, I'm overrun by things, like I even have things stacked up, you know, on the sides of things over here, not knowing, you know, the you know, baby stuff too, and not even knowing where, you know, where to put a lot of this stuff, as you can tell, I'm just kind of like, you know, overrun, 
with crap, and like I'm just trying to like go through some of this shit. Like I have my little wrestling, you know, DVD Blu-ray collection, you know, up over here, but I even have stacks of, you know, movies up here of like things I'm probably never gonna watch again. Like Wild Things 2. Do I really need to keep Wild Things 2? You know what I mean? Like that's 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 the question. And there's like other different little things I have here, like Dog Pound. I don't. That's a good movie, but am I ever gonna watch it again? I'm just like trying to really go through, you know, some of this stuff and going. Why, why am I keeping this like this? A lot of stuff that I, I've been seeing is like a lot of crap that I bought from Big Lots when I started going you know, buy movies from there like crazy when they, when they started having the $3 DVD sale. Like this, I bought that when it first came out. Never going to watch it, so I'll put that to the side because why am I going to keep that? Like, and this. What the hell is this? You know what I mean? Like, uh, I don't know, Lewis Gossip Jr. is cool, but... I don't even remember this. When the hell did I even buy this? I'll put that on the stack of not, of, you know, not keeping and things. But like, I'm just going through some of this kind of thing and trying to just like thin out some of this stack of stuff. Cause there's just, you know, like two, you know, two bookcases full of shit right here. And I turn this way. There's even, you know, like my little thing that you push and like, you know, the movies come sliding out kind of thing right here by the stairs and I, I can like go through this and I even have a bookcase here next to like the the baby thing that blocks the stairs and there's like just like more and more you know movies everywhere in this house man and then like I turn this way and there's like my TV section of things and even more you know uh, more DVDs down here I could probably go through and like figure out do I need to keep half this shit? You know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm going, I'm going to start probably going through my TV section soon and, like, thinning out some of the, the TV show stuff because, to be honest, like, a lot of it I like. You know, like, I'm going to keep all the Boy Meets World and, like, American, you know, all American Girl and things, but, you know what I mean? There's, like, just some stuff in here. Like, am I going to watch all these American Pickers, you know, anymore? Like, I, I liked them when they first came out, but I don't really watch the show anymore. You see this stuff, guys, like this. H2O, Just Add Water. The complete first and second season. What the hell am I doing with this? Uh, and along with this thing right here, what's it called? It's called uh, Dance Academy Season 1, Volume 1, Volume 2, and Volume or Volume 3 of H2O. Like, what the hell do I need this shit for? You know what I mean? Like, why is this still sitting in my collection for? And like this right here, the seventh heaven. Like, I watched the first two seasons. I have season 3, 5, and 6. Like, I'm probably never going to get to this this show ever again. Like, I, I don't even know, like, why do I need to keep these and things? And I never, ever completed the 90210 series ever. And you know what I mean? Like, the shows and DVDs just keep going on and on and on. And I am sure I can thin out some of this crap, you know, s sooner or later. And, of course, there's, like, more DVDs over here, more DVDs over here, or more, you know, here's more TV show things. Like, you know, like, some of this stuff I know I really don't need. You know what I mean? Like, I go through here and just, like, probably probably pick out a couple of, like, complete series of things. Like, maybe this, like, Paranormal State is something that's, like, I used to like watching, but I know I don't really care about it anymore, to be honest. You know what I mean? Just, like, go through some of this kind of thing and figure out, what the hell am I doing? Hey, hey, Ethan, are you going to help me try to, like, unhoard some of these movies, homie? Ethan, are you going to help me try to get rid of some of these, or do you want me to keep all the movies like some weird, crazy hoarder? What do you want me to do? Huh? Oh, you just gonna run around in the garage like a crazy boy? Uh, all right then. Come on, man. You gotta go back inside. Oh, bundled, bundled up like a cute boy. You gotta go. Get back in there. Get back in there. All right, Ethan. I'll see you a little bit later. Casey, don't abuse him, okay? Okay. All right. All right, Ethan just went back inside the house right now. Right now, I'm in the garage where I have even fucking more hoardings of movies I can go through and get rid of and things like that. Like, I have this big old, you know, like, bookcase kind of thing over here, which is all wrapped up since I moved it, which has all my snapper case, you know, DVD editions of movies, which I know I, I can get rid of a handful of them now because I have them on Blu-ray and things. And just more and more boxes of, like, just random like DVDs, Blu-rays, what have you. And then this thing right here, I have just like a whole bunch of just like movie CD soundtracks and just like, you know, CDs in general, just all up in this little thing, you know, right over here and a big old, big old two boxes of VHS tapes that are in those boxes right up over there. And I even have like a stack of, mo stack of uh, movies like in this box right here. And in this this bag right here of stuff I know I can get rid of. Like that's what that's what that's what these are here for. And I even have like more and more, you know, boxes of stuff, you know, piled in back there and all the way down here. It's just it's it's getting kind of really overwhelming.
All right, guys, I'm back in my room right now. I even have three boxes here ne next to my bed filled with movies I can, you know, get rid of now if I want to, like, sell them or something. You know what I mean? Here's, like, a little glimpse of kind of what you see in here. It's just, like, you know, a mishmash of, like, just, like, random, you know, kind of things. Like, I'm probably never going to ever, you know, want to watch again. You know what I mean? It's just kind of like, ugh, you know, kind of movies, you know? Like, I have, like, like I said, the three three big old boxes here. I still have, like, you know... Big things of things I can go through here and figure out if I need to take them off, like some of the stuff I told you about, like on the, you know, on the sides here that I pulled out already for another box, and you know, just more movies over there, like I showed you, my kung fu section, my horror section, which you guys saw a little bit already, and then when you open up my closet here, uh, there's just more stacks of you know of of Blu-rays right here, and there's like DVDs and some mixture of VHS and you know, random collections of things, and then there's these stacks right here that go, like, too deep, or two or three, uh, you know, DVD stacks deep that go all the way down right here. I have, you know, uh, Chucky right there protecting them uh, for me, whereas I have my Milo, my little homeboy over there. What's up, Milo? A lot of these ones are like my stand, I have a lot of stand-up comedy that's behind these stacks right here. Just like, a, it's like a little mishmash of just, like, random stuff, and my cat likes playing around in the closet whenever it's open. Uh-oh! But you know what I mean? Like, I'm just trying to go through some of these and just, like, figure out, you know, what do I really need to keep? You know what I mean? Like, do I really need to have every single movie under the sun anymore? You know what I mean? It's, it's not a, it's not no contest or anything, you know? It's just kind of really kind of overwhelming. But guys, don't get me wrong. Like, I love my movies. I love my collection. It's just, you know, getting to that time where I don't think I need to own everything you know what i mean like i don't need to keep everything i don't need to have every single you know every single everything you know what i mean like i know i need to keep like you know my good old standbys of things that i absolutely love like the batman you know the batman movies the back to the future movies clerks movies all the kevin smith stuff you know what i mean i'm not getting rid of everything whatsoever it's just kind of like the miscellaneous kind of crap i accumulated you know over the years that i'm like why did I buy this? You know what I mean? Or bought this and going, and, and then watched it and going, this sucks. And then like keeping it on the shelf for some reason. Like the movie Unfriended, you know, which I recently, you know, uh, I got a couple months ago and just recently watched and thought it sucked. You know, like that's in one of my sale boxes right now too. But the sad thing is, you know, going to places like Amoeba and some of these other places, they don't really give you a whole lot of money for this stuff. And a lot of the stuff is not really worth anything these days. You know what I mean? Like I go on Amazon and look up the prices and if I, if I think something's worth, you know, a little bit more valuable, I would put it up on there and see what happens. But a lot of the stuff isn't worth a lot of, a lot of anything to be honest, guys. But like the thing is, I, this is my passion. You know what I mean? Like, I love physical media. That's what I'm all about. And that's what I'm always going to be about. You know what I mean? Like, I know sooner or later I'll probably go to the digital format by watching stuff online and streaming and, like, all that kind of stuff. But to me, you know, just having the physical copy of something is just a lot cooler and more awesome to me than, it, you know, having something digitally and not really owning it. You know what I mean? Like, with this, you own it. I can watch it whenever I want. You know what I mean? Like, say, if, uh, you know, the Batman anthology here went on, you know, Netflix or, or something, you know, sooner or later, Netflix can take it off. Warner Brothers can say, hey, I don't want it on Netflix anymore, but I still have my Blu-ray. I can pop in and watch any time or DVD, what have you. You know what I mean? That's why I like it. That's what I love about physical media. But at the same time, there are things that are being put out today, movies being made today that really don't really need to be owned. You know what I mean? Like, I don't, you know, need to have every single, you know, movie under the sun. You know what I mean? Like, why, why do I need to keep Wahlburger season two on DVD for, you know? You know what I mean? Crap like that. That's the kind of stuff I'm going to go through my collection and kind of thin out. Like, just the kind of stuff that I'm never going to get to again. I'm never going to watch again. And, like, kind of like, why the hell did I get that in the first place? You know, kind of stuff is what I'm trying to pull out of my collection, you know, right now. Just to kind of thin out some stuff and, you know, kind of make me feel a little bit, you know, better by unhoarding some of this. Like, the thing is, I'm trying to think. I might be going to, like, the local swap meet in the next couple of months and maybe have setting up a booth or something and start, you know, selling, you know, sporadic things you know at, you know at these swap meets and things so who knows you know what I'm gonna do I just kind of want to make this video because I've been feeling kind of overwhelmed the last couple of days like every once in a while you know I look at my collection and go oh shit this is too much you know especially like when I moved over here to this new place you know over a year ago it was such a bitch to put all the shit in boxes and get it all moved over here it wasn't fun whatsoever 
but I still love my physical media and I will always, I always will till my dying day because that's what I grew up with, man. VHS, DVD, now Blu-ray and what have you. You know, that, that's, that's my, that's my past, my love, man. But guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Love you guys all. Give this video a thumbs up. See you guys all next time.